He is risen, Alleluia! As Jesus overcame death to gain for us eternal life, let us throw off the darkness and enter into his glorious light. Let us begin our worship with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, by raising Christ your Son, you conquered the power of death, and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit that is within us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak to those assembled in the house of Cornelius. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people, and to testify that he is the one ordained by God, as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The Word of the Lord. This is the 
of Paul to the Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes, but Mary Magdalene stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary! She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Much as it may sound surprising to us, the resurrection of Jesus seemed to be a surprise to his disciples. Mary of Magdala's first reaction is logical. The body was stolen. Peter and the beloved disciple see for themselves that the tomb is empty, but only one believes. They did not understand the scripture. We are reminded that we live by faith and we seek understanding. Easter morning gives us our North Star, the guiding light by which we live our lives. The death of Jesus was not his end. He was raised in a wholly unexpected way to new life. His destiny is ours. His new life will be shared by us who seek to follow him. On this Easter morning, may we be open to the unexpected ways that God may work in our lives.
glory to receive the heart at the dawn of the lasting day. For the trumpet will sound, the dead shall be raised, and death shall defeat us no more. Let us ever glory in the cross of Christ and the triumph Let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Christ's triumph over death is the greatest victory of them all and the cornerstone of our faith. We, the Easter people, have been given the promise of new and eternal life. Let us proclaim God's great love and mercy through our words and actions, now and for all eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Darkness into light. 